telephoto lens will improve your photography. <music>
of that same shot. It's nice and pretty, isn't it? But I'm sure you'd agree. Zoom in on the bit of detail there. A lot better image. For me, when you look at a photograph, it's got to evoke a calm emotion. And the problem is a lot of times when I see such images shot with a wide angle lens is there's a lot of objects in the frame which distract you from being harmonious. A telephoto lens, however, can zoom in close, get the finer details. What a wonderful picturesque scene. You're currently looking at me using my 16 to 35 millimeter lens set on 16 millimeter. It's a nice scene. Is it a good photograph? Probably not. I've got a challenge for you. In a minute, I'm gonna step out of the scene. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to come up with as many images as possible, breaking that scene you see up in front of you into little segments as if you're using a telephoto lens. See how we get on and then I'll have a go. That was a bit harder than what I thought due to the conditions, the harsh light. Hope you got the idea though. Basically what I did, he just brought the scene down, um, isolating shapes and patterns. I'm sure you agree, it just looks like a more pleasing photograph. Right, I'm just gonna make my way down to middle dot. Just see that in the background. It's not the best light I keep harping on about that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to show you a selection of my favourite images taken by my telephoto lens. One of the main areas where you've got to be careful with telephoto lens is the avoidance of camera shake. And what you can do, of course, is just to make sure that you've got a quick enough shutter speed. Handheld, basically, you've got to make sure that the shutter speed is the same or greater than the focal length. You can also use a tripod, of course, but then again, you've just got to be careful. Stick it on live view. I'm going to give that uh, a go in, in a bit. I can honestly say that I've got no portfolio image of a long exposed shot using my telephoto lens. So I'm going to have to put myself to the test. So I thought I'd be a bit creative here with my long exposure shot. Um, I'm framed up. I struggled actually, to be honest, to get a composition. I just wanted to show you that I could do it, but I'm struggling composition wise. I found something, be a bit creative. Again, key part today is this cotton grass. So I'm gonna use it again. So I'm set up, there's a peak, like a little pinnacle on the top of red screes. I put that on the upper left hand side of the frame. 10 stop is on which has given me an exposure of 10 seconds. So I'm obviously going to get some movement with the cotton grass, but I also want a bit of movement in the clouds. I've looked around and I wasn't too sure where the clouds were moving actually, because I always like to have the clouds coming towards me, have that effect. I'm struggling to get a lot of clouds in this composition, but there's a little bit. But I've had a little bit of uh, difference to this shot because it needed a bit more pizzazz so I've got to throw myself in the frame so this shot is dedicated to my 
best mate, Mr. Chris Sale. Just have a look at this. Ten second exposure. I checked on Live View. Always still, always quiet. I've also got my tripod levelled out as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend two shots together. So it's going to be a composite. One with me in it and one without, which is the long exposure shot. A little bit of streaks in the, in the sky. Just have to see how that turns out in post-production. A bit creative. No, I'm in that. So this is it. This is my go-to lens these days. This is the Canon 70 200 F4L. Um, they do a 2.8 image stabilizer version as well, which is a lot heavier due to the amount of glass and the image stabilizer mechanism. I reckon about 80% of my shots are taken with this now, um, mainly because I do a lot of mountain photography. Not that you, not that it's totally intended for mountain photography. Um, I'll put a link at the end of my descriptions, um, but it's relatively cheap as well for such a good quality lens. I just, I just love this lens. Can you tell? So it's often the case, my favorite image is left to the last. Similar image to what I shot before, but the best shape to this one, to the fells in the background, more of a prominent feature. So again, I've focused on that fell in the background. And I've got this uh, cotton grass blurred in the foreground. Handheld, telephoto, F4, shop of the day is this one. It's all about making the most of your conditions as well. Again, it's, it's not very good at all for, for photographer, but I've just searched around, see what there is to play with, and uh, I've come up with this. So uh, that's probably my final shot of the day. Enjoy. So there you go, a telephoto lens vlog. Try to keep it nice and simple. A bit like your photography as well, if you go out and catch some images using your telephoto. Guaranteed. No, just work on it. Just make sure you use your patterns well. Use your shapes, fill your frame, and you should have fun. So anyway, that's it until next time. Um, remember you can follow me on Instagram under james underscore uh, underscore burns if you like it make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel there will be more give me a like give me a nice comment until next time bye bye for now